So I got this really terrifying email the other day and I want to share it with you because I want to make sure it's not what happens to you. Now in the email, the person was about 45 years old and the guy said to me, he said, Alex, I had the weirdest realization the other day. I woke up one day and realized that I was 15 years older than I thought, which was 30. And I realized that nothing about my life was the way I thought it would be at my age now, which is 45. He's like, I'm married to a woman that I'm really very lukewarm about. I do a job I hate. I come home and I'm stressed and I'm tired and I play with my kids. And overall, after the day, after seeing my wife, after having dinner, I have this feeling when I sit down at night alone and it's quiet, that I woke up in somebody else's life. And honestly, it scares the crap out of me. Now in this video, I wanna share a little bit about why I think this I just woke up in someone else's life scenario happens and what you can do to make sure you never become that guy. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. Now I think what's interesting is that there's this weird thing I've noticed that happens when I coach people and it's almost like people think that just by living problems will resolve themselves. That just by living, your debt will magically go away. That just by living, you're naturally going to lose 20 pounds. That just by existing, you're going to attract your dream person, or you're going to acquire a lot of money through your job, or you're going to end up doing a job you love. And in my experience, nothing is further from the truth. You never just wake up and stuff is magically amazing. Like the people you admire and you respect, they got to where they are because of a very deliberate approach to their life. And so this video is all about the deliberate approach to living. All right, so basically if the great life doesn't just happen, like I had one coaching client and he hired me and he said, you know, Alex, basically I hired you because I want to be where you are in five years. And he said, I know you didn't just get there by chance. And in my opinion, that was a million dollar revelation he had because it's true. Like you, none of these things just magically will go away or will improve. Now, the best scenario that can lead you to basically where you want to be is by understanding, based on today, your daily rituals and your daily habits, where you will be. So in my experience, one of the biggest revelations I ever had in my life was before I wrote my book, Master the Day, because I realized that today, like one day of your life, you could pluck it out of your life. Like imagine you're God and you can see all these strings. These are all days. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of days filling up this whole screen. You could pluck out one day, expand it, and look at, okay, what did he do for breakfast? Who are the people he's hanging out with? What did he do before bed? How much did he sleep? What was his mindset? How often was he grateful versus blame and complain? You could literally extract that one day from your life and pretty accurately predict the trajectory that you're on for whatever thing you're working on, whether it is fitness or it is finances. And so when I realized this, that's why I became so religious about this master the day philosophy. Like, what am I doing each day if each day is a snapshot of eventually what my life becomes? So I want to introduce you to this idea called the habit pyramid, which is as close as it comes to basically owning your own crystal ball. All right, so the habit pyramid is just a really simple exercise with a much, well, I tried to be sexier with the name, but it's really a simple exercise. And it's basically whatever the goal is you want, you have to break it down from... This is what I want. These are the things I think to instead. What are the daily habits I have to do today and every day to make that happen? So I'll give you a couple examples, right? Now, let's say one of your core goals is you want to be an author and you're figuring, okay, how do I make this a reality? Well, let's do the habit pyramid. You figure out what habits stack up to create you being a successful published author. So for example, what do published authors do every day? First thing is they write. So habit number one is writing every day. Habit number two, how do they market their books or how do they get the word out about the books they create? Well, they do some kind of business or some kind of marketing, which could be anything from interviews to now in 2018, publishing content online. So now we have two habits of a successful author. They write every day, they publish some kind of content or marketing surrounding those materials. And what is the third thing? I don't know. Maybe they negotiate with media or maybe they have an agent. So now you have Three habits in the habit pyramid for becoming a professional author. Writing every day. Is that in your schedule? Doing the marketing or the media or the content creation every day. Is that in your schedule? 
and then negotiating with agents or publishers or whoever if you want to do the traditional route. So you've just taken, I want to be a pro author, which is an airy-fairy, fluffy dream, into the rituals you need to be doing every day. That will almost guarantee you'll become an author. It doesn't mean you're going to be Stephen King and make $500 million. It just means you'll be that professional author. Now, what if, along the same vein, we talk about weight loss and fitness here a lot, so I'll give other life examples. Let's say one of your goals is you want to spend three months in Paris every year. That's pretty sweet. That's something in my five to seven year plan. So what would you have to do to do that? Well, first of all, if you're going to be spending three months in a different location, you either need to have an, a way where you can work remotely from anywhere. So does your current job allow you to work from anywhere? If not, then maybe that means you need to be an entrepreneur or someone who has a digital source of income that you can actually survive off of. And obviously you can operate your business anywhere in the world. So the first thing is, how are you negotiating the money part, right? What are the habits surrounding money? Either negotiate the remote work agreement with your boss or start an online business. And then the time, how are you negotiating that time part? Is your boss gonna let you take that time off? Are you gonna do seasonal jobs that you can then quit and have a few months off? Or are you just gonna have a business or some kind of job that you can work online? So again, you took the pipe dream from, I wanna spend three months in Paris a year into the habit pyramid exercise, which is what are the core rituals that have to happen every day to make that dream an actual reality? So you took it from non-material to concrete material action steps to do every single day. So I hope that this helps and I hope that you don't end up like the guy that emailed me and said, I woke up in someone else's life. Now, what I can promise you is that only happens when you are not living deliberately. And how do you know if you're living deliberately or not? Well, do the habit pyramid exercise. Look at your daily habits of today as that little day you've extracted out of the thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of days of your life. That will accurately predict, more often than not, exactly the trajectory you're going down for every aspect of your life. And if you're working on a new goal and you're not sure how to get there, do this habit pyramid exercise, break down the pipe dream into day-to-day -day rituals, and that'll get you back on the proper side of the curve. So, before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what is the main part of your life you wanna focus on for this habit pyramid exercise? All right guys, I hope that video helps. Best way to stay in touch is to grab the free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. And also you can check out the last two videos that just came out here and here. And otherwise, I will see you soon.